Good day everyone, I'm Natalie Claire O'Shaughness. Today we're going to talk about the genetic condition polydactyly. What is polydactyly? Polydactyly is a condition in which a person is born with extra fingers or toes. The term polydactyly, poly means many and dactylus means digits. Polydactyly tends to run in families. It may also result from genetic mutations or environmental causes. The usual treatment is surgery to remove the extra digit. Fast facts about polydactyly. The right hand and left foot are most commonly affected. Hands are affected more often than feet. Polydactyly is twice as common among men. It occurs in 1 in 1,000 births in general population. It's found more frequently in African American population, occurring in 1 in 150 births. Now, there are several types of polydactyly. Most often, the extra digit grows next to the fifth finger or toe. Polydactyly most often occurs other without other abnormalities. This is called isolated or non-syndromic polydactyly. Sometimes it is associated with another genetic condition. This is called syndromic polydactyly. So what are the symptoms of polydactyly? Polydactyly causes a person to have extra fingers or toes on one or both of their hands or feet. The extra digit or digits may be complete and fully functional, partially formed with some bone, or just a small mass of soft tissue called anubin. Diagnosing polydactyly. Ultrasound sonographs can show polydactyly in the embryo in the first three months of development. The polydactyly may be isolated or it may be associated with another genetic syndrome. The doctor will ask whether there is a family history of polydactyly. They may also do genetic testing to check for anomalies the chromosomes that could indicate other conditions. If other genetic conditions are involved, the doctor and possibly a medical geneticist will discuss the outlook for the child. Once the child is born, polydactyly can be diagnosed on site. If the doctor suspects that the child has other genetic conditions, they will do more testing on the child's chromosomes. The doctor may also order an x-ray of the digit or digits involved to see how they are attached to the other digit and whether they have bones. Treating polydactyly. Treatment for polydactyly depends on how and where extra digit is connected to the hand or foot. In most cases, the extra digit is removed in the child's first two years. This gives the child typical use of their hands and allows their feet to fit into shoes. Sometimes, adults will have the surgery to improve the appearance or function of their hand or foot. Surgery is usually outpatient with local or topical anesthesia. Different surgical techniques are a subject of ongoing research. Advances in human genetics have revealed several new isolated and syndromic polydactyly types that enhanced our knowledge and understanding of several genes responsible for genetic limb pathogenesis. With the advent of new technologies such as RNA sequencing, systemic bioinformatics, new generation sequencing or NGS, new genes and disease causing mutations will be discovered that might help establishing 
genotype phenotype correlations in the near future. The same genetic testing methods can also be generalized to adults to allow for carrier testing for detecting a carrier of an abnormal gene in a disease.